Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a Creda or Hotpoint oven. We're working on an SC360EB, but this can be used for many different types of model of the Hotpoint and Creda range. The first thing we need to do is to find out what the fault is. Now, this oven was brought into us because it had tripped the electricity and now there is no heat in the oven. Every time we turn the thermostat on, leave it run for a few minutes, there is no heat in the oven at all. Now because the red thermostat light is on the left hand side and the fan is running, there is a good chance that it is the element that is blown. But the first thing we need to do is disconnect the cooker from the electricity supply and now we need to remove the oven door and also remove the shelves out of the oven. On most of the built-in Hotpoint and Creda ovens, you do not need to remove it from the casing. But it is a good idea to remove the door, as I'm showing you in the clip here. The hinges lock into place, and then you can lift the hinges out, and I'll show you how to relocate it at the end of the video. So you've got to remove all the interior of the oven. Now we need to remove the fan guard at the back. This is held on with four screws on this model. It does vary slightly on different makes. Now while I'm doing this, the links on the left hand side and in the YouTube information tag on the right hand side will take you through to the website where you can get the element for this appliance. Or you can see the full video tutorial with all the description as well. And as you can see, there's a slight split in the element on the right hand side. But now we need to remove the three screws, one at the bottom, two at the top. Although on this element we can see there is a physical split where it has blown, on some elements there will be no signs of any damage at all. But the element has gone open circuit. Now we have another video on the website showing you how to test elements. But I'll just quickly show you, in um, when I take this element off, how to test it with a multimeter. Now, on some cookers, you will also get a fault that you turn the oven on, and after a couple of minutes, it trips the electricity. Uh, this is due to the element going to earth and causing the RCD in the household to trip. The only way you can test an element for this is with a mega instrument which I haven't got with me at the moment, but as you can see on this element, it's open circuit. And I'll just show you on the new element. We'll do a continuity reading on the new element. And it should be showing somewhere just below 20. Here's the split on the old element. And there we go. We have uh, resistance going across the element. So we'll just connect it all back up. Now as I said earlier, there are links on the left hand side. Uh, the top link is to the part if you're using a computer. If you're using a phone to watch this video, there is a link on the right hand side uh, under the information uh, icon. And that will take you through to the website tutorial or to the part itself for this cooker. And there's also links there to Facebook and the donation page for the website for helping uh, helping us to keep producing these videos for you. So we'll just replace the last screw and then we'll put the fan guard back on. And I'll show you how to hang the door again. On some models of cooker the fan blade is very close to the element. On this cooker there's a good centimetre gap all the way around. By the way, a MEGA is an actual insulation testing instrument which is very useful if you're in the trade for measuring the insulation on certain items, especially things like elements, to find out if there's a fault on the element and it's going to earth. The higher the resistance you get, the better the condition of the element. Now we'll just put the door on. As you can see, the hinges go into the two slots and you'll notice there is groove in the bottom of the lower part and this locks on the framework. So just open and shut the door a couple of times 
and keep hold of the door uh, just to make sure it's seated correctly. Now we need to plug the cooker back in. Automatically it goes to auto. So we need to turn it to manual and then adjust the clock. They do vary from model to model so do check your manual for this. Now we'll leave the cooker on for a few minutes. We can now see the thermostat is cycling meaning it has got to temperature. When the light goes out it is already at temperature. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. And please remember to shop at the website. Thanks very much indeed for watching.